Welcome to IAYTD. It's Friday, which means it's time for comic fights. So before we start, let's look at last week. We had Summer versus Winter. We had Ice versus Jubilee. There were few people really fighting for Ice, but the consensus came down that the X-Men Jubilee is going to take the win. And here's some reasoning why. Happy Gabe says this. So here's how I think this measures up. Jubilee is an incredible hand-to-hand -hand combatant, trained by the X-Men, and even leading Generation X at one point. Especially for her age, she's astonishing. A tactical advantage goes to Jubilee. A blizzard would not be enough to negate any of Jubilee's paths, and it helps that she can move them around anywhere she wants, so she'd probably just maneuver them around ice in her attacks. Speed goes to Jubilee as well. She once countered bullets after they were fired with her paths, so I don't think ice and her abilities are supersonic, so... Pure strength also goes to Jubilee. This is honestly a bit of a mismatch. Ice is strong as of her power-up, but not strong enough to compete with Jubilee, who once blew up a house. All in all, Jubilee has fought ninjas with Wolverine, trained with the X-Men for years and years, still sort of an inactive member, BT-dubs, agile as <coughs> strong as <coughs> and just the better fighter. Sam and Teen Life both agreed. So I agree. I think Jubilee's potential um, and her ability just to kind of like shoot fireworks everywhere is going to negate Ice's ability to slow her down. Uh, potentially freeze her in place the explosions are just going to outdo that um i think it'll be a close win but i'm giving this one to jubilee so now this week we've got two heavy hitters this is really tough this might be one of the toughest fights i've put together uh unless one of you pinpoint something that i didn't see uh so we've got ghost rider with the spirit of vengeance versus the protector of basically our entire planet swamp thing so let's start with talking about Ghost Rider. So we're going with Johnny Blaze, the original Ghost Rider, or I guess the most famous Ghost Rider, uh, paired with the Spirit of Vengeance. Um, he is incredibly powerful, more powerful than I really knew kind of before looking into this. I always thought he was cool, but I didn't know he was like, damn. So in terms of offensive capabilities, he has all sorts of weaponry. He's got a chain that can kind of like light up with this fire he can turn that into different weapons he can generate and control hellfire uh, so he can use this through his weapons he can use this through whatever vehicle um, so that's why you see sometimes the ghost rider has a motorcycle or a car um, this hellfire burns the soul of someone so it not only does physical damage but it does like intense damage defensively ghost rider is basically indestructible that when he is powered up, he can be destroyed and can come back. That basically he is immune to all physical damage. The only thing that's really been shown to hurt him is weapons that are forged in heaven. And in this fight that we have laid out in front of us, I don't think that's going to come into play. He has superhuman strength and he has superhuman stamina. That basically he does not get tired. But the biggest thing that might come into play in this fight is Ghost Rider's ability to do something called the Penance Stare, where he looks into someone's eyes and makes them feel all the pain that they've ever inflicted on other people. And he makes them feel that basically forever. So it is the ultimate form of retribution for people that have done a lot of harm. Now in this fight, we have to wonder if that Penance Stare is uh, an option and if so, what sort of damage would that do to the Swamp Thing? So let's flip and let's talk about the Swamp Thing real quick. Let's see if he can even compare to this beast known as Ghost Rider. Swamp Thing is much more powerful than you might imagine. On a very superficial level, he controls plant life. Okay, so he can do like vines, he can capture people, he can hold them. He can kind of communicate with all plants on Earth. And on a bigger scale, he can vastly change his size, that his size is basically unlimited, that he can kind of encapsulate all of plant life and become planet-sized, almost. We've never, I don't think we've ever seen him do an entire planet, but he can get gigantic. He can also copy himself, so there can be multiple swamp things, kind of all controlled by one mind. In a nutshell, he is basically the protector of the planet that there is this energy called the green, which is basically kind of all plant life on the planet is this energy and he can tap into that energy and he is destined to protect the green. 
Um, and as long as there is plant life anywhere on Earth, he survives. So his body can be destroyed and he can live through other plants. So basically, he is unstoppable unless the Earth is seemingly destroyed. His only other weakness is really things like pollution, things that hurt the Earth's ecosystem make him weaker. So this is an interesting one. They're both heroes that wouldn't traditionally fight, but we're gonna see what would happen. You know, maybe Ghost Rider's on this quest for vengeance, and for some reason Swamp Thing sees the need to stop him. If these two behemoths crossed paths, what would happen? Would Swamp Thing's ability to control all the plant life on Earth be able to put down the spirit of vengeance? And would Ghost Rider's penance stare be able to affect the soul of Swamp Thing? And what sort of harm has Swamp Thing inflicted that he would feel that pain? Is that attack even worth doing? So what do you think happens? Does someone win? Is there a stalemate? What scenario happens when these two bump up against each other? So give me your comments, get creative, and next week we'll shout out the best answer. As a bonus, here's a little hint about another video I'm working on that I've been doing research about Ghost Rider, uh, kind of this, I thought this would be a cool idea, and I'm starting to learn about kind of the mythology of Ghost Rider into much more depth than I really knew about before. Um, so I am going to be doing a video probably next week about the lineage of Ghost Riders. You know, who are, you know, there's three or four really prominent Ghost Riders, so I'm gonna cover who they are, how they got their powers, how they're vastly different. Uh, and then we're also gonna showcase some of the cooler, lesser known Ghost Riders throughout history and throughout the future. So if you're interested in Ghost Rider, be on the lookout for that video. It's gonna be kind of in line with my other comics uh, videos where I explain something. So it'll just go through the characters, give you some you know, facts and tidbits. I think it's gonna be really interesting. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, with that, this is it. See you next week.